Hi, my name is Cosima and I'm currently doing my master's degree in aerospace engineering at the TUM. Currently the Department of Aerospace and Geodesy is enrolling a new bachelor degree where you can study aerospace right from the beginning. Today we want to show you the world we entered with our study at the TUM. Enjoy the journey between Earth and space with our experts in science and teaching. My name is Florian Holzapfel. I'm the director of the TUM Institute of Flight System Dynamics. My name is Ulrich Walter and I'm heading the Institute of Astronautics. And astronautics means everything having to do with space, in particular space technology. My name is Sophie Armanini and I'm an assistant professor for EA Aviation at the Technical University of Munich. If you join our degree program at my institute, you will learn about flight performance, how fast, how high, how far are aircraft flying. You will learn about stability and control, how to keep it stable in the air, how to make it easy to fly, and about navigation, so how to find out where to go and how to get there. In our research, we are shaping the aerospace of tomorrow. So in the case of my institute, we are very much looking into new types of aerial mobility, like electrical, vertical, takeoff and landing vehicles, where it's about making them as easy to fly as possible, so you no longer will need a pilot's license, but everybody will be able to fly them. Or we're doing a lot of control systems for drones. So imagine in the world of tomorrow, you have unmanned systems transporting goods between companies over long distances in remote areas, or even basically back to your front door. So if you order something, you don't have to wait a day, but maybe half an hour later it will already be delivered, but not on the ground, but from the air. So already when I was a little kid, I was dreaming about airplanes and aviation and aerospace was always my passion. And so for me, it was so clear to make that a profession. But sometimes I was thinking, maybe I'm too late. Maybe the great times of aviation are already gone. But that's definitely not true because many people are calling the current phase, the third revolution in aerospace. So with electrification on the one hand side and automation on the other side, you suddenly can do things which only 10 years ago would have been completely unimaginable. And the cool thing about it is, if you look back maybe 20 or 30 years, it took big companies and billions of taxpayers' money to build new airplanes. Today, small groups, student groups and startups can build whole airplanes again. And this is really a push in innovation. And so basically, you're just joining aerospace in one of the most exciting times since mankind learned to fly. And in my opinion, now it's really the right time to join us and to get all the skills you need to shape the aerospace of tomorrow. This is what we're doing. Look around and you see, for example, our Earth. So we're building satellites, small satellites, so-called CubeSats, which are about uh, this size. We build them, we design them, and bring them into space with rockets. And we're here right in the middle of our mission control center. So this center is to communicate with our satellites. Currently we have three satellites in space, so we can communicate with the satellites, we can command them. So this is what we mainly are doing. We also do robotics in space. So we have a simulation room where we simulate space. We are flying there so-called service satellites, which approaches a target satellites. So this so-called rendezvous and docking, this is what we do research on. We also do exploration technologies 
and in particular we're doing in situ resource utilization which means to use the regolith say on the moon or on the mars for purposes we need for for example to build a habitat or to extract oxygen so this is called in situ resource utilization and we also built uh, life support systems for human beings on moon and mars this is also exploration technologies and we have a hypervelocity impact gun, so to say. So we can shoot very small particles on surfaces, for example, solar panels, in order to figure out whether they can withstand such impacts. You may ask me why I'm doing space, space technologies. And the answer is easy. It's fascinating. It's just fascinating to go to into space, which in the most basic sense, a new dimension from human mankind. So we go out there and can do things there which you can't do here on ground. You can go to the moon, you can go to the Mars, look back to the Earth to see how small Earth is. And you need technologies for doing that. And you can do science on the moon and Earth. And for me, as an astronaut as well, this is really fascinating. We are currently in a turnaround phase in space, meaning new space. What does it mean, new space? Well, there are many commercial space companies which are heading to space who are developing new space technologies like new rockets. There are startups also here at Munich but worldwide. They are building small rockets for small, small satellites like we do. So small satellites are the future of space technology and we are right in the middle. And if you want to be part of it, study space technology at the Technical University at Munich. I joined TUM about six months ago and I'm very excited to be joining at this particular time with a new study program taking shape and also a new campus taking shape in Ottobrunn. My research interests combine a technical interest in unconventional aircraft with a more personal interest in societal challenges such as sustainability and increasing levels of pollution, climate change and so on. So what I'm very excited about is being able to combine new sustainable flight solutions such as electric aircraft, hybrid aircraft, or also new mobility concepts on the one hand, and on the other hand, looking at new unmanned aircraft and the applications that they enable. So at the moment, we're at a turning point in what is happening in this field. On the one hand, we have new and more sustainable propulsion systems that are becoming better and that make the idea of electric aircraft or of hybrid aircraft more promising and more realistic every day. And so we have new classes of aircraft coming out that are not only more efficient and more sustainable, but are also very different to what we're used to. So thanks to advances in technology and in miniaturization and also in computing, we're able to build always smaller and more compact, more versatile unmanned aircraft. And these can be used for new applications for example, sensing, outdoor sensing, distributed sensing, monitoring, search and rescue, so all sorts of applications that were previously either not possible or that were more difficult to achieve. So I started out, my idea was I want to be an astronaut and I like space uh, craft. And then studying, I discovered new types of configurations, new types of aircraft, and eventually I developed an interest, especially in very strange and unconventional vehicles. So one of my previous research projects prior to joining TUM was on aircraft that can also dive underwater and that are used for environmental sampling, so for collecting data, for example, on lakes. And one of my niche interests is bio-inspiration. And what this means is developing aerial vehicles that are inspired by what we see in nature, so in insects or in birds. And so I'd like to show you an example here of what this might look like. So this is an aerial vehicle that's inspired by a dragonfly and I'll just show you how it flies. What's interesting is this vehicle weighs about 14 grams so it's extremely light. It has a very remarkable flight performance so it's able to perform very elaborate maneuvers, very aggressive maneuvers of the sort that will be very difficult to perform with other types of air vehicles. So you could not do this with a fixed wing aircraft. What we can do is attach cameras to such vehicles so they can collect video data, they can take pictures, 
One application where a bio-inspired approach is extremely useful and gives us new solutions that we wouldn't have otherwise. So a lot more is possible than you would think and the possibilities are really endless. And I think that's one of the fascinating things about aviation and aeronautics. So come and join our team and help us to shape the aviation landscape of tomorrow. I especially enjoy the practical aspects of my studies, such as my work at the Student Initiative Horizon, where my responsibility is manufacturing the eVTOL prototype. I'm fascinated by aerospace because of the cutting-edge technology used in that field and also how we're able to exceed the so far technical possibilities by every time. My goal is to become an engineer in a research and development department. So we invite you to join our brand new bachelor degree program in aerospace. We had the privilege to start on a white sheet of paper and do everything right from scratch, not to keep traditions from the past, but to design the degree you need to be fit for the future. Because we believe if you want to change the world of tomorrow, you need to comprehend the world. Join us now, become a part of our new effort and be the aerospace engineer of tomorrow.